Texans will now pay for the wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. That's after Governor Abbott signed a nearly $2 billion border security package into law today. He held that signing ceremony in Fort Worth, and CBS 11's J.D. Miles explains why. I'll tell you, five years ago, we might have had zero cases of fentanyl. And today, you're talking... 70 to 80 year to date. Fort Worth police officer Manny Ramirez says the increase in the amount of fentanyl and other opioids being trafficked in his city can be traced to Mexico. And this is a, a, a drug that just a pin drop can kill you. And so it's very, very serious. And the fact that there's any of it in the United States is unacceptable. Governor Abbott says that officer's concern led to a border security bill that he signed into law today in Fort Worth. Border security funding is now law in the state of Texas. $1.8 billion will fund more National Guard border patrols, add jails to house those arrested for illegal crossings, and continue work on more than 700 miles of border wall. These funds will help the Texas Department of Public Safety arrest more people at the border. It is the federal government's job to secure our border, but the Biden administration has failed to do its job. I asked the governor what he would say to Texans who would rather see the money spent on other expensive needs, including improvements to the state's electric grid. He says it's been addressed and that border security is more important. They winterized the grid. Uh, they ensured the integrity of the grid so that it wouldn't go down like it did this last time. As your own local police officer put it, public safety is essential to everybody in this state. The governor added that the state has already signed a contract with a builder that will allow work to begin on the border wall as early as next week. In Fort Worth, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.